So I was browsing social media the other day and I came across a brand that was pretty interesting. I mean, honestly, it's not really my cup of tea, but I quickly realized that it was an amazing niche opportunity for anybody wanting to start a business. So in today's video, I'm simply going to show you this store and tell you why I think it's a good opportunity. So pretty simple stuff. I think these videos are really helpful and you guys seem to think so as well. So let's not beat around the bush and get right into it. The store is called My Quiche. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I think it's a UK brand around hair care, but not just hair care. I mean, it's sort of a self care brand overall, which is really interesting. So they sell things like pillowcases, hair accessories, you know, like curling sets, shampoo and conditioner bars, which by the way, I've actually never seen that before. You know, shampoo and conditioner bars. I, obviously I know about soap bars, but I never knew you could use those for hair. That's new to me. And they got a bunch of bundles and other random products. I mean, as you can see, they really are sort of a general niche store around the self-care niche. And what's cool is that if we look up self-care, we can actually see that this is a very up and coming industry. Unfortunately, a lot of people suffer from anxiety and other mental health issues. So self-care is becoming more and more prevalent in society. And it's clearly reflected by this interest over time that we can find on Google Trends. And obviously self-care by Mac Miller is the number one topic here. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. That's an amazing song. But point is, this is a niche that a lot of people are very attracted to. And this brand is actually a very great example of what someone could build in this space. Now, their marketing strategy is pretty cool. They post a lot of memes. They post a lot of user generated content and just a lot of overall tips. So this is why I'm saying this is a general niche and it's like a community. It's like a media brand around self care and also products around self care, which I think is the best way to build an e-commerce business. I mean, it looks so fun, right? Like imagine if you really enjoyed this niche, you'd be helping people out through your content and obviously through your products, because that's all business is about, guys. I'm going to repeat this again, even though I say it in a lot of videos, but all business is, is solving problems. So the bigger the problems you're solving, the more money your business is going to make. I will say though, not everything is about money. So even if you're solving little problems and making a good amount of money enough to live, that's totally fine. I mean, I know a lot of really rich people that are super unhappy with their lives. So I know for a fact that money is not the key to success in life. But let's be honest, money's great. So that's why I'm showing you these niches because these are great business opportunities. Their store is super simple. They also sell pillowcases, which is pretty cool. I also think that's a great niche opportunity. If we take a look at pillowcases, even just that simple search trend is starting to pop off more and more. So people definitely want to buy some really nice pillowcases, some soft ones. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like people don't really think about the fact that, that you use a pillow every day. So why not invest into a pillowcase that you really like? And that doesn't always necessarily mean the highest quality pillowcase. That could just mean a pillowcase with a cartoon that you like or with a quote that you like. You know, people will identify with so many different things. But clearly, this brand is beautiful. They follow a really, really good template for their website. So they got at the header, save 25% off with code MOM. That's a really good thing right there. They got some great bundles that you can buy. Super good idea. Really easy way to increase your average order value. They got Got some authority badges right here that definitely increases conversion rates and then a simple story about the founder plus some other products in the review so very simple product pages i mean they just have the perfect conversion optimizations and then lastly let me show you the secret to their success which is kind of similar as other brands in the e-commerce space and it's just their ads they're running a lot of ads i mean 200 plus results so we can see they're using picture ads here i'm pretty sure this is a british tv show or something correct me if i'm wrong i probably sound dumb right now i don't really know what that is and then they got the classic ucg style ads so very simple, very traditional. Even this ad copy right here looks like a traditional drop shipping ad copies. <laughs> drop shipping definitely finds some pretty cool conversion hacks. I found it got super before annoying. And afters, which is pretty interesting that Facebook is letting me slide nowadays. Back in the day, in the peak golden age of Facebook ads, they used to prohibit you from running before and after ads. That's no longer the case. But yeah, these are really good headlines. So this is a lot of good stuff to learn from. I'm actually really curious about shampoo bars. And as you see, 
this trend is also starting to pick up very consistently, probably because shampoo bars are maybe cleaner for your hair. There's probably less toxic chemicals in there. So that's a really, really good idea for a business. And yeah, you get the point. I mean, we could browse literally 200 plus ads here and still not be done with all of their ad library. But I like to keep these videos short and simple. So with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this, whether you're a beginner or an established business. I think you can learn a lot from this brand. If you did enjoy this video, then I want you to give it a like and I want you to check out some of the links that I got in the description. Very relevant resources for all sorts of business owners. So with that said, I really hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Peace.